Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back. I know we haven't had a video in a while. As you can see, we've been crazy busy, both good and bad. Anyways, I wanted to bring a video for you guys because it's been too long since we've done this one. Uh, what I've been talking about is I wanted to do a quick pedal stack video. Uh, I didn't want to quite get into the pedal stack yet, but I did want to talk about how to actually add Tailwind. So how we've been adding Tailwind to our projects. And I'm going to show you that right now. So over here, uh, I have a very, very simple kind of fresh uh, project. And we did this for a previous demo. So now I'm just going to actually add Tailwind to it. Now, the way that we have been doing this is we've actually been leveraging the Node ecosystem. And so all we need to do is add a couple of dependencies. And those ones should be the dev dependencies. So let me go ahead and check over here. Because I have everything already prepared on this side. And so what I want to add is the dev dependencies. Dev dependencies. And we're going to have to have auto prefixer. This one is actually, you know what? I'm just going to go over here and copy and paste. It just makes life easier. So this is an existing project. So I know it works already. So we need auto prefixer, post CSS, and finally tailwind. This may or may not be the latest version. I haven't checked. And all this should be good. And then we need to actually configure post CSS. So we go to assets, make a new file. And it should be called post CSS.config.js. And we need to actually add in some exports. So we need to tell us about Tailwind and Auto Prefixer. And finally, we have to actually also configure Tailwind. So we'll go to here, assets, Tailwind dot config dot js and I'm going to copy this one and paste it over here so we just need some default information and we basically want to take a look at um, the web folder and make sure that we purge any CSS that we're not going to be using and then finally the JS if you have anything new JS and this should be enough to get us going and then finally we just need to configure our, every time we turn on the server, we want it to actually turn on. So then all we need to do is we go to our dev.exs config, where our ES build is running. Let me take a look over here. So after ES build, then we just need to add a couple of things. So we want to use MPX. And I'm just going to go ahead and just copy and paste this part too. And so we're going to run the Tailwind CSS, right? So when you install Tailwind, there is actually like a binary installed in there that you can just use directly. We want to input our app.css and we want to output the app.css. And we're going to make sure we're using post CSS and make sure we actually watch that. And we do this all from the assets folder. Pretty straightforward, I think. And then finally, we need to also do one more thing, which is that um, before, if you're using ES build, it's going to be just using regular CSS over here. So in that case, you want to just turn that off because ES build cannot handle um, that. I could see it, it cannot actually handle this uh, understanding what the, is inside this um, CSS file. And so finally, we go to here and we can just cut all this out for now. And we need to actually add in the official Tailwind stuff, which is at Tailwind base at tailwind components at tailwind utilities and from there we can basically turn on our server and get going
Oh, sorry, I did forget one more thing. I forgot to actually install everything. Because <laughs> it just warned me. My fault. To fix. Uh, assets. Oh, we should be good and ready to go. There we go. If I module Tailwind CSS requires stack. That's very weird because I have this thing working over here. Isn't it funny how things always work when you set them up? I find my address to the one CSS. Ah. Alright, anyways, looks like I somehow I'm missing this. So, sorry about that. Some of the reason I was missing that. So now I have to quickly install all that. There we go. So make sure you have your dev dependencies all prefixed or post CSS, Tailwind, and then you're ready to go. Make sure everything else is there. Tailwind, CSS, auto prefixer, and this one. And that's really it. So let's try to run this again. There we go. So now if I go to localhost, I see a little bit of weirdness over here. But if we actually go to the app.css, should be static. Oh, let me just app.css. Ah, sorry, I forgot what's the name of that one. So I'll just go to the page source. There we go, assets. And you see over here, all of our Tailwind is already here for us. So then we can just use Tailwind out of the box. So to kind of recap real quick, Make sure that you actually go to your um, package.json file. You add the dev dependencies, you're going to need auto prefixer, post CSS, tailwind CSS. Feel free to change these according to the latest version at the time. Post CSS config is told you're using tailwind CSS auto prefixer. And finally, tailwind, give it some default configuration. Now, the reason that you will have these is because of the purging. So by default, new version of tailwind will always purge. And then after all this is done, you go to here. Um, tell the watchers to turn on npx, run the Tailwind CSS, make sure you input that CSS app.css in there, output it to your assets folder, uh, make sure you turn on post CSS and watch it and run it from the assets folder. And that's basically it. That's how you can easily add Tailwind to your project. And of course, finally, one last thing to make sure I don't forget is make sure you do turn off this one because ES build cannot understand uh, this out of the box. You probably have to add some kind of plugin. In any case, this part works fine, as you can see. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.